Hey guys, here we go into a quick film study on the worst defense in boxing. Now on Patreon right now, we're looking at film of Luis Neri for his fight against Figueroa brother. Um, and the Figueroa brothers, man, I think those guys are tremendous, tremendous fighters. Um, even though he lost to Ugas, man, I that guy is like one of my favorite fighters in boxing right now. So I just want to watch either of these kids fight. So we're checking them out. But here today, we're going to be looking at the worst defense in boxing and... It's Luis Neri's opponent, uh, Yamanaka, and he's just stepping off the line when Luis Neri comes forward. Now notice, it's enough to get away from this one-two, right? No problem. Uh, 50 seconds into the round, he gets away from the one-two. Perfect, right? Well, now Luis Neri starts closing the distance and taking big strides, closing the distance, making it so that Yamanaka has to take larger and larger steps off the line. No big deal though, right? Yamanaka is still getting off the line. But now, Luis Neri is timing it and changing the rhythm of it to get a bigger leap and a bigger pendulum step in. And now he's starting to get a piece of Yamanaka's glove. Again, Yamanaka is just moving off of the line. He's not slipping. He's not fainting or probing or controlling the space. He's just relying on his actual reflexes of knowing when Luis Neri is going to come in to be able to take that step back. But here, because Luis Neri is fainting and probing and controlling him here, Yamanaka doesn't know when he's going to be in danger or not. And Luis Neri can come forward and play with him here, waiting for him to take that step off the line so he can make his attack now to almost an unguarded target. Right at the, at the beginning of the second round, he's making small adjustments. But other problems it has is while Yamanaka, his primary defense is stepping off the line, what happens when he has to step onto the line to punch and then step off of the line already to get off the line? Well, he's going to be chased by these punches as he's already going to be incorporating his main source of defense after getting onto the line to stab his opponent with the jab, he's already stepping off the line with his main source of defense. So his defense and his technique is already being stressed. So Luis Neri is able to chase him down and land that right hand, or left hand in his case. Now, another problem, again, with the fainting and the probing and the control that he has because Yamanaka's defense is primarily stepping off the line, he has to respect that when Luis Neri gets here, he has to guard this place. Because last time he chased him backwards and was attacking him with punches, but now the body's open. The body gets to be open because rather than controlling his opponent, fainting, controlling him, fainting him and probing him, and using an active guard and using head movement and slipping and rolling and doing actual boxing techniques... He wants to rely on something that is not a boxing technique, which is stepping off the line, uh, which in actuality is a boxing technique. It's actually the pendulum step. When you do it, you kind of are shifting your weight to the back foot, and then you're, sh you're hopping. Um, it's a pendulum step. And then you're going to transfer your weight more toward the front foot after. Um, but what's, what's really happening there um, is that you're performing two different boxing moves instead of one by stepping off the line. Uh, and it's not giving you the opportunity to, to defensively and responsibly um, defend yourself. Now, again, here he is transferring his weight to that back foot. Boom, as he steps off the line and then back to the front foot. It doesn't really look like it here, I know, but that's exactly what he's doing as he's taking this step off the line. But he's exposed to the body again, right? Take Again, not relying on any boxing maneuvers, not slipping, not controlling the space. He doesn't have an opportunity to stop his opponent from just doing whatever he wants and coming in with these body shots. Now, what happens here? Okay, now here he is taking a step off the line again, but his opponent takes that step a little quicker than he does, right? Now again, I said going backwards, that motion is going to be a pendulum step motion. He's going to be initially transferring his weight towards his back leg as he takes this step here. We can see that he's leaned this way. Now his next weight transition is actually going to be a shuffle to get his weight from his, uh, well, in his case, his left side of his body back to his right side. But he's going to be bringing his, his leg, his front leg, more toward the position of his back leg. Okay, and his head is essentially going to stay in the same spot, but it's going to push his back leg out. Okay, that's all that stepping off the line is. But when you step off the line, you kind of shortcut it to try to make it look like uh, one move instead of two. Now, the problem with this 
is that that's exactly what Luis Neri is doing going forward. But he's doing it so much faster right now than um, than his opponent Yamanaka is, okay? And he's able to close the distance with his own version of that pendulum step and land that right hand much quicker than his opponent because he's fainting, because he's probing, because he's doing other things to accompany his boxing techniques. Again, it's very, very, very important that you interact with your opponent uh, and that you're you're doing something, you're changing positions, you're crossing the line. You can't just stay in the center of your line and expect to be able to move right off the line anytime you want, as your opponents may think differently. Now, another problem with using stepping off the line as your primary defense or any defense as all, at all is that once you get hurt, if you don't know how to slip punches, if you don't practice that and, and you think that stepping off the line is always going to be good enough, you're never going to be prepared to fight someone who can do these things here that Luis Neri can do as he continues to chase this guy down with these pendulum steps. Watch these motions here, okay? Look at him pendulum step and catch him, okay? He could have done this at almost any point in the fight. In fact, he tried several times and almost got dropped um, as he got timed in between. But as you can see, he's more than capable of doing this kind of stuff. Um, and someone who can only defend themselves by moving off of the line or counterpunching is only going to have two options when their opponent starts doing this stuff to them. Either counterpunch or take a step back. And as we can see, he's hurt too much to counterpunch, and all he can do is take steps back, and he keeps getting obliterated, right? This is actually the end of the fight here. He winds up stopping Yamanaka because Yamanaka's only defense is stepping off the line. Again, it's the worst defense in boxing. Uh, practice, if you're going to practice um, taking a step off the line, and again, let's analyze that again. Let's just take a look at his technique here. He's going to transfer his weight here to the back foot, Wait, why are you going to do that? He's going to do it here somewhere. He has to. So. <laughs> There's a tiny one. He shifts his weight to his back foot here. Okay. Now, once all his weight is here, he's going to rock his hips. Right. And then transfers his weight to his front foot, which opens up his back leg. So he can take that step off. It's very slight in his position. Right? One leg. Now he brings his left leg closer and then shuffles and brings his other leg back. It's a slight pendulum motion. But again, he's keeping his head on the, on the center line and he's not choosing a side of the line. He's not slipping to one side of the line. Um, and when you take a step off of the line, you are in fact making a slip motion as well. Okay? So even if you're not even if you are stepping off of the line, it's important to understand that that motion is accompanied by a slip as well. You can't just take a step off of the line and keep your head in the same spot. Again, otherwise you're going to be having this kind of stuff happen to you, right? He just absolutely gets chased down and obliterated, not only by that right hand, but again, because he can only take a step off, and here he is. This is his best pendulum here. He gets his weight all the way to that back leg, and now he jumps forward and his weight is now on the front foot. And he gets met by um, Luis Neri's right hand. Again, he's taking a pendulum step backwards himself as he shifts all his weight right now on that back leg. And now he's going to shift all his weight forward in the next frame, right? Lands on his front leg and then gets met by a better pendulum step by Luis Neri um, and just obliterates this guy, you know? So if you're watching YouTube videos and, that, and your coach is recommending that that's one of the best defenses in boxing. Um, it's because your coach doesn't know shit about boxing. 